Hello, good people, and welcome to Inspect Bits episode number four. Is this a high house? Gary Gentry here with Quality Residential Inspections in Raleigh, North Carolina. You know, we see all sorts of things when we perform home inspections. Some of these things are serious, some not so serious, and then there are others that are, well, they're just interesting and noteworthy. I recently inspected a home here in Raleigh that brought to mind a 1998 mystery fantasy book entitled The High House. The book was about a majestic house with magical features that found the characters repeatedly asking, what is High House? I'll not get into the contents of the book, but do attain it and read it if you're so inclined. This particular home was vacant, and as I went through it, a few things raised my eyebrow. There had been numerous holes about five or six inches in diameter cut through some of the walls between the rooms in the basement. There was a ventilation unit that had been left behind. And there were some high-powered heat lamps here and there. And there was a stand-up cooler in the basement that wasn't particularly noteworthy except that it just seemed, I don't know, out of place. But when I looked up in the attic space, it all came to me. The pieces of the puzzle were coming together. There were long lengths of flexible ventilation ducts up there that, not surprisingly, were just about the same diameter as those holes in the walls between the rooms. And there was a virtual library of reading material pertaining to gardening and commercial hydroponics and such. Oh, and some periodic publications that relate to the art and the science, if you will, of... Yeah, that. Yep, there wasn't much question about it. There had definitely been some happy hashisha happening, some merry marijuana making, some contented cannabis cultivation going on in that there house. It was obvious what the use of the ventilation unit and the heat lamps was, and the holes had been cut in the walls to provide fresh air. I'll bet the cooler was used as a cabinet to germinate all those little pot plants in the individual potting trays that were scattered about. So I spoke with my clients about the discovery, and I let them know that it hadn't really caused the home itself any issues, except maybe that all the holes in the walls needed to be repaired. Now everybody that was present, my clients, their real estate agent, as well as myself, got a pretty good chuckle out of it all. But it did beg the question, is this house high? We hope you check back with us often for our next episode, episode five, where we present a place where maybe one shouldn't be storing their paperwork. Thank you so much for your time. Make it a great one no matter what it might be. And remember, when it comes to houses, you just never know.